am Isis. Greetings, beloved ones. I embrace you with my love. I come to share with you today. This is the beginning of your final preparation to release your old paradigms to so deeply ingrained in your energy fields to step into light, love and oneness. It is the beginning of mankind's birthing process into fifth dimensional energy. What joy! How we celebrate this wondrous time! Yes, we are full of joy for you because the ascension process creates so much loss. You may at times have felt discontented. Your sense of security can really go through the ringer. Through this process you may lose friends, family members, jobs, your old ego identity, your old source of financial support, your old homes, and on and on the list can seem endless at times. And even those who considered your closest and even soulmates can end up with another or perhaps no longer match your new vibration anymore and leave your space as well. But there is one way to really stay on track when all else fails. When it is time to make a change, and in these times you are making changes every five minutes, as we are morphing so fast, you become discontented with where you are. This is the nudge that is guiding you to make a change, and the way to guide yourself through this change is to do what makes you feel good. It's that simple. This is one of the reasons why the ascension process places us, all of you, in a space where we can become disenchanted with life. You are only supposed to be in your passion. <laughs> and in the energies that light you up. Stay in these energies as much as possible. It was intended for you to be in your purest vibration of creativity and this is where you are headed. This very time is a time to plan to bring into existence your higher vibration of being, new thought patterns opening and operating from your higher heart chakra, the thymus, the first steps of love, the first steps of the great shift of consciousness of mankind. I further wish to say to you, there has been a crystal grid placed around your planet to also assist in mankind's upliftment. This has also been activated to help all souls release their old paradigms on all levels of the mental and emotional bodies. You see, each of you have crystals in your structure of your cells. Yes, unable to be seen with the physical eye, just as the very atoms of your cells spin faster as you raise your vibration and you greatly increase your levels of light through this process. Until you radiate glorious light, you become light, a light being. Also contained in your cellular structure is crystalline essence. It is the crystalline essence which responds to the vibrating and magnetic pull of the crystalline grid around the earth. Beloved ones, you see, you are not alone. 
and not without assistance as you experience these evolutionary times on earth. And further you have incarnated with complete knowing of these times, complete knowledge of what it is to be. Many sought to be of assistance in this great process. Many are answering their soul call now. As the soul holds all knowledge of past, present and future, you experience this as listeners as unfulfillment, as something missing in your life. For others, their clairvoyance is activated. As I have said before, a great te tapestry of spiritual gifts, weaving a wondrous blanket of light to embrace mankind and earth. Transformation is the key now. We are working with planetary energies that can feel overwhelming at times. They are bringing to the surface emotional issues and helping you become aware of some deep-seated patterns, all of which can be uncomfortable to deal with. It is a time of endings and beginnings. Your lives are full of such times and are often defined by them. The endings actually occurring now may be visible to others or perhaps only shown internally to ourselves. But whether or not the process is outwardly apparent, what is passing at this time is clearing the way for clearer intention and sense of personal meaning in the months and years ahead. Some of you have spent so much time outside of yourselves that you've forgotten the true feelings of who you are, your own energy. Some of you have been playing in the near and outer realms so often that you have felt a disconnection from your bodies. You do not know what to eat on some days, feeling that your health might be in jeopardy because of the neglect and stress that you've taken on recently. Yes, beloved ones, your stresses have been an important process for you, and you have participated in them valiantly. You do not know the profundity of your actions and inner work, but they are valuable. You have brought about important aspects of you into the light, both for yourselves and for others. You have bridged many connections between the you and the new you to be, and the you that you are now, the coming. You are merging with yourself, and you've been doing it during a very special time. It is with no hesitation that we tell you that the work you've been doing has been most profound transformation we have ever seen. Your choices are so grand and full of delight, full of turmoil and confusion at times, yet also brought into awareness. Many of you have learned to be very careful with the potent energies around you, and many of you have also come to understand the nature of this process of transmutation knowing in your new self where and how the processes have been occurring. You have been filtering through your minds and when to evaluate what you're feeling, but this removing of the filtering through your mind has been part of the process. You know where your energy is and when you are feeling. You know when your energy is when you are fearing. Oh, dear ones, you have been engaging in a process of the mass mind, helping to balance it while you're also getting a 
reacquainted with yourself. You have been shuttling energies far and wide for a long time, facilitating this process and allowing yourself to be where you are needed. You knew what it was that you could accomplish while moving out of these realms. While there were some chances for temporary setbacks as well as getting lost, you also knew that there would be tremendous opportunity to do this shuttling of energies and inner transformation at this time. We know how confusing it has been for you. Do you remember when we told you that it would be redefining your spirituality? Indeed, it does occur. By nature of your experiences, which you feel but have not yet understood. Let me tell you, dear ones, that you are more in touch with your truth than you realize. When you understand and do not feel, you may be in illusion. So we ask you to begin trusting your experience more often. You who have been chosen to be in these many energetic exchanges, elected to be a part of the shaping and shifting and the guiding of what was to occur. You do not see your efforts in motion, but you know that there is motion. Your mind, body and spirit are getting to know each other once again. Your body in particular will continue to become more sensitive to energy and you may elect to feel those energies. You may get a definite sense of them when you wake up in the morning and you may also choose to feel that energy. Dear ones, you are already getting a handle on how to balance these energies around you and as you do, you strengthen your relationship to your new self and you lead the quantum change which is the in process at this time. There will be many more changes as you continue to notice more and more people becoming affected by the mass consciousness shifts in energy. Have you noticed that you're in your new life now? and living in your psychic brown, brown <laughs> brain? <laughs> yes, excuse me. Yes, the body is still morphing. Your eyes see figures beyond the veil. Your nerves turn off and on. You see and understand all things in a global brain of awe. And things that made no sense before are now clear. You have already begun to use focused energy to live, express and create a new life without the baggage of your soul's past. Yet there has not been enough of the new to bring all to the golden door. Mass consciousness addictions still remain seductive and attractive to many. Many of those awakened insist on being empathic for lessons they already have completed. Beloved ones, but you can't begin a new life with your heart in the new earth and your foot in the old earth. You must let go of your old molecular body. You can say goodbye to the past while savouring its gifts and enjoying giggles at the old lessons of stop, stubbing the same toe a million times. When you step back and marvel and laugh at your close encounters with aliens, death and every reason there was something wrong with you, higher perspective appears. This is where you reign over the all you remember 
that everyone must complete her or his lessons as you completed yours in a 3D body container on a 3D planet. This way, the lesson goes out to all other multiple existences, so you can feel yourself on all levels at once. Nothing will keep you from embodying your soul and spirit marriage. Again we say, energy is never wasted. Throw the stone into the water and let it ripple without expecting to change the world. What people aren't ready for, the earth will speak to them about it in her own soul birthing joy. For she looks forward to her new marriage with the galactic sun, with the cosmic sun. And nothing, nothing will keep her from embodying that love. And nothing has kept you from embodying your soul and spirit marriage, as you have intended also. If humans need more volcanoes, global warming or polar pole shifts, then you can be assured that they will find them inside their very own bodies. This is where the real earth changes will occur. If there remain any heavy emotions, beliefs or dead zones left from the past, then allow them to surface and be of service in their own life in your new life as you experiment with what you said you couldn't have in your old life. You're now in union with and are your own soul spirit so you can't harm another or self and any service you provide to another cannot fail. How will you entertain new people, new methods, new inventions already inside you if you don't engage in your new life? Your new self will only enliven and lift the planet and release any time ghosts into the light. So let yourself become so busy, self-loving, and self-expressing that when you rise your head you are met by all the others. It is time to live your dreams, to apply your philosophies and ideas to awaken others. After all, butterflies don't die in survival shells. They rebirth, regenerate and live again and again. You don't heal one who is still learning their lessons or having chosen experiences until they feel they are complete. You can't end a war when there's ancient agreements that are unfinished. You can't balance the Earth's electromagnetic poles if your life is unbalanced. You also wouldn't create from a point of depletion. This is respect for life as it needs to be. You are already an anchor for the higher consciousness of the new earth just by being here. Let your intention and inspiration bleed through higher potentials that relieves, it will relieve choices that are already there. If you think it, believe it, imagine, create it, and know it, it is already there. It already exists. This is the life you came to experience. Beloved ones, finally another of great importance. You have heard that once you are in the new earth, you'll have no sickness. 
no limits. This is something you all look forward to. However, you need to reach the new earth. And people have neglected their physical bodies. And thus their physical life. The two are one and the same. The body is the life matrix. Determining what will and will not happen in your daily experience. Since people are neglecting, some people are neglecting their physical bodies, they are losing control over what will happen in their life. Since we want a world of people who are conscious and are in charge of their own lives, we need people who are in control of and in charge of their lives. This requires awareness of a good diet, what to eat, what to avoid, as well as developing an ever greater sense of feeling in the body. Feeling is the pathway of evolution. New channels can form in the body solely based on internal sense of feeling from the brain through to the nerves to the body. The feeling of joy stimulates body growth and body growth produces a feeling of joy. Thus you see evolution is the process of following the feeling of joy in the body. The more you grow the joy of being in your physical body, the faster you are evolving. Feeling is the supreme sense. Feeling is a global sense that comes from the crown, comes from the brain, comes from the soul. A sense of feeling is cultivated in a particular region of the body. So the brain is activated, the soul power begins to download from the crown. So the blood flows, so does the joy, so does the activation to ascension with ease. So, beloved ones, I know this has been a little longer than normal, but I felt I had so much to share because it is so close. So please take good care to your golden door to the new earth. I am Goddess Isis, always at your service, and I give thanks for being here today. Honoured by your presence, I am, and wishing you a blessed time over the Christmas holiday time. Namaste, and I, Rosalie, also thank you for being here today, wishing you a Merry Christmas. A thank you. Namaste.